What's going on? Welcome back to Last of Us. As you can see, my toboggan got destroyed and it's zeroed. Uh, all the modules are gone, but I'm glad it happened because I tested my theory and the slugs did work. Uh, what happened is we were crafting clay uh, on the top of the hill just to the north over there. And we got ambushed by a clan we had four. Uh, they put ballistas on the um, foundations next to our ships while we were in the bases and started attacking the ships. Uh, what happened, instead of worrying about the ship and actually getting inside the ship and getting away, uh, what I did is started fighting the enemy. They were a lot more than us and then we got overrun. Uh, by that time, I decided to lure them away by jumping into the toboggan and driving it all the way down the hill. The toboggan did explode because it put about 80 arrows into the hull. Uh, they could not get into the actual cabin to stop the toboggan. And they did follow me. I had about five people chasing me down the hill, which gave time to uh, my clanmates get into the ships and pack some bases. And uh, obviously, the reinforcers came soon enough. Uh, I did have two walkers out. I had another toboggan, uh, which I did save. It also had airlock, which kind of helped a little bit because I could uh, get into that and push it down the hill as well. Uh, but as you can see, here's the result of the wreckage. So we're going to come out of that cinematic look. And uh, that's what left of the toboggan. It is level 32. I will be back in another one. I will be farming some high quality wood. And probably aiming for the same quality. That was just enough. Uh, I was using my uh, modules for storage. Uh, it did have really good upgrades. As you can see, that's the modules they got. It's not a big deal. Uh, I am planning to farm for the wingsuit and so on. And I'll probably get all these modules back. Some of the modules I already have. So that's not an issue, uh, and I'm sure Clan could probably swing a couple of modules my way. The upgrades are pretty handy. I don't know if I'm going to try and get level 4 for the iron upgrades. Uh, we just have to work this out. Uh, they couldn't get any of my loot because I had uh, large chests on the top. And by the time I moved my toboggan, I don't think they had much uh, resources left to keep building ballistas and trying to shoot flaming arrows. They did get hit pretty hard. Their tactics is to use wig suits and in this area as you can see once you get into the hills especially in that area uh, there's not really much high trees or any high points to swing off because you're already at the top of the mountain and the only way you can go is down so this is my toboggan i already took almost of the stuff i was going to take the flags down uh, i already started smashing some of them and then i decided to make this video uh, it's not a disappointing video, I'm kind of excited because I can show you uh, how many hits would it take to get through this. So as you can see, I already started in the middle, so that's not a big deal. Let's say they already got a couple of hits onto it, alright? So what I'm going to do is, as we know, uh, the each flag is about 100 XP, so you have to have at least two hits on each flag. And uh, I'm just going to start disassembling them. And I'm going to probably play this in the fast motion, so we can see how long would it take to get through it. So even then, I don't think that would be big enough, especially on the angle, to get in. This is another thing, uh, which is just learned. If you get in destroyed and people trying to grief you in, look at that. They, they can't really get in. Obviously the roof would be still there. However, they wouldn't be able to get in because... Uh, the toboggan would be um, on the side and uh, they need to make the bigger. Look at that. We just doubled the area of what they need to get into. It's really interesting, which is great. Uh, I did end up rebuilding my other toboggan because remember I had two. Uh, my other toboggan got like a backup base, you know, with a little bit of stuff in it. I don't really try keep a lot of resources on me. I'm not a hoarder. Uh, my friends had massive bases with heaps of, you know, full chests, uh, which got destroyed by different big clans. Uh, and obviously all the loot and hard work been lost. Uh, I try to farm to what I need. And uh, you know, I'm gonna need a new toboggan. So I'm gonna farm for that. You know, I'm not gonna go and farm 1 million wood. Uh, this is, should be just enough. Uh, so, oh look at that. We just got 700 wood out of that. That's ridiculous. Uh, literally was empty. So what we're gonna do, gonna pack this away. Uh, I will do a couple of shots of the build of my new toboggan or like rearranging stuff. Uh, it was fun. Uh, I'm glad it's happened. I learned new things. I also learned the things from the previous video when we got raided. Uh, one of the bases got raided. Uh, and stay tuned because the next video you're going to see 
uh, we're going to show you the base uh, and I'm going to talk about what's the biggest mistakes people do and um, uh, you're going to see what to look for. We're going to look through worst case scenarios and obviously all the other information. And just remember, this is not the, the, the toboggan wasn't destroyed because, you know, uh, it wasn't destroyed because, you know, it didn't work. It worked magical trait. Uh, the only reason it got destroyed because I got carried away fighting on the ground trying to protect other people. I wasn't gonna just bail, you know. Plus, people did use it to spawn. Uh, I think a fair bit of gear got used out of this, so it wasn't wasted. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it was a great lesson. And now uh, I can actually put that crusher inside instead of, you know, deleting the flag. So they actually gave me a good reason to get that crusher onto the ship and move stuff around, which is absolutely great and oh my god like this is gives you perspective of how much wood i had to farm uh, to build these flags and i do tell you that i spent past three hours farming more wood to get more flags because obviously other toboggan didn't have the same setup and now it does so here we go hope you enjoyed it uh you can stick around and quickly have a guess how much actual wood i'm gonna get because i'm kind of curious now as well and that's all the flags on oh my god look at that if i knew i can do this i probably wouldn't farm as much wood as i did i would just use this and then just use fiber weave look at that look at that um also while we're here just a quick setup make sure you always have gear in case you do get attacked uh you know try to have bare minimum don't use any chests other than large because they can just get smashed pretty easily uh, whereas this one actually requires you know resources to get in and effort so we're almost there uh, make sure you do leave comments if you guys decided to build some similar toboggan and uh, you know you have pretty cool ideas about it or you, you got something that I didn't think of make sure you do let me know uh, we can improve this solo based game in this um, in Last of Isis together and just you know make it harder for people to grief and we're gonna learn of uh, each other's mistakes so um, I'll definitely see you next time and uh, make sure you are uh, Stay safe and, uh, you know, be very careful. Don't trust no one.
I'm not afraid.